Hello everyone, it seems I'm cursed with minor and major imperfections on Boca knives. So instead of jumping right into my review, I have to tell a little story and believe me, I wish I wouldn't have to. In the past I've been disappointed more than once by the poor build quality of knives from the Boca Plus product line. Finally, I was so annoyed by the fluctuating quality that I stopped buying them. I had never bought a knife from the premium Boca product line though. These knives are made in Germany and they are supposed to have a higher quality. What's for sure is they have a higher price tag. Although I didn't expect any issues with the knife from Boca's premium product line, this time I wanted to be smart. Before ordering this knife, the Turbine 42, I called the retail store and asked the owner to take a look at the knife before it gets shipped out to me. He promised to do a close inspection on the knife. A few days later the package arrived and immediately after opening this nicely made box, I spotted the messed up screws on the handle. Both screws that hold the rosewood inset were totally off center. Yes, it's only a minor imperfection you may say, but this knife costs almost 200 euros and when you are paying that price, you expect precision work, especially from a German made knife. So in my opinion, it was flawed. As you can imagine, I was fucking pissed off by the store owner. To make the story short, in the end I drove to the Boca store in Solingen and had the knife replaced. Now for the knife itself. It comes in this beautiful presentation box, along with the knife comes this little pamphlet, this red silk pouch and two tools, one for the pocket clip screws and the other one for this very unique pivot screw. The turbine, by the way in German the name is pronounced Turbine, the turbine or Turbine is definitely one of Boca's flagship knife models. The design is by Dietmar Pohl, the well-known German knife maker, and in the past there have been several special and limited editions of the turbine, but in general there are four different models. The standard size turbine like this one and the smaller turbine 2. For the German market, Boca also released variants of the turbine with the additional number 42. This number refers to Article 42a of the German weapon law. So we have the regular turbine, the regular turbine 42, the smaller turbine 2 and the smaller turbine 242. Now what are the main differences between the regular turbine models and the 42 models? The Turbine 42 doesn't have a thumb stud, instead it comes with a nail nick and the 42 model doesn't have a flipper. You can see the flipper here, no flipper here. The lack of these features make it a legal carry knife in Germany because now you need two hands to open it, theoretically. In fact, you can open it with one hand, like this. In the end, it depends on how tight the pivot screw is. And now you see how stupid the German weapon law is. If I tighten the pivot screw so that I can only open it with two hands, someone else with stronger hands might still be able to open it with one hand. Now let me give you some of the specs. The blade length is 9.7 cm, the overall length is 22.5 cm. The blade thickness is 4 mm, but as you can see, Boca put a swedge on the spine. Below the swedge, the blade is flat ground. To give you a size comparison, size-wise, the turbine is between the Spyderco Tenacious and the Spyderco Resilience. The weight comes in at 156 grams, so it's not a lightweight knife, but given the size it's more than acceptable. The handle is an open construction, which I like a lot because it makes the knife easy to clean. Both handle scales are precisely CNC machined from a high quality aluminum alloy. Actually the material is a high strength aluminum magnesium silicon alloy 
which also has a high corrosion resistance against seawater. That's why rudder stocks and rudder bearings are also made of this material. I have to say the handle is one of the best designed handles I've ever seen on a knife. There is not a single sharp edge on the handle scales. And the ergonomics are awesome. The finger grooves feel like as if they were made from my hand. Very comfortable and very secure. There is some jimping on the top. In my opinion not very effective, but hey, when you have a well-designed handle shape like this, this jimping isn't really needed. The rosewood inset is made by Karl Nil. Karl Nil is a German company that designs and produces handgun grips. Here they collaborated with Boca and came up with this beautifully made rosewood inset. The pocket clip is reversible for tip up or tip down carry. It can only be mounted on one side though. What I especially like about the pocket clip mounting is this little plate. Here Boca really paid attention to detail. If you want to reverse the pocket clip, you have to remove this little plate and after you have mounted the pocket clip at this end, the plate goes into the empty space here. The pivot screw is not a regular screw. That's why the turbine comes with this special tool. The locking mechanism is a liner lock. The 1.5 mm liner is very solid, very sturdy. It also has some jimping. And there is not the slightest amount of blade play. Absolutely fantastic. Now what's really special about this knife is the blade steel. It's Chronidor 30. Boca uses this steel for other knives as well. There is even a Boca knife with the name of this steel, the Boca Chronidor. On the turbine, Boca gave this steel a matte finish. To be honest, I have no experience with this blade steel at all. I'm no metallurgy expert, so I did some research on this steel and I found this data sheet. It gives you the chemical analysis, lots of details on the heat treatment, etc. I have to admit that most of it sounds like Chinese to me. I will provide a link to this data sheet in the description box for all the steel fetishists among my viewers. For me, the most important statement is this. The partly substitution of carbon by nitrogen offers a far better corrosion resistance and wear resistance than conventionally produced cold working steels. So it's an extremely stainless steel. Because of its outstanding qualities, it is used in the aircraft industry and other mechanical engineering industries. By the way, Chronidor 30 is also used in the space shuttle. Boca uses this fact for marketing purposes, but it's true. I actually found a NASA report that confirms that this steel is used for bearings in the engine of the space shuttle. As a blade steel, Chronidor 30 is said to have fantastic edge holding characteristics. I haven't sharpened the knife yet because it's almost unused, so time will tell what the edge holding is like. But I can tell you it's hair popping sharp. Like I already mentioned, the grind starts below this line. The blade is flat ground. And with a large blade like this, I can't imagine any cutting task this knife would not be capable of. Here you can see the Boca logo and the steel name Chronidor 30. On the other side of the blade is a very subtle stamp that says Boca Solingen Germany Stainless. Now, what kind of knife is the turbine? I think the overall design puts it in the arena of tactical knives, which is no surprise because the knife designer Dietmar Pohl comes from that background. But in my opinion, it doesn't look menacing at all. The design has both an industrial look with a traditional feel to it, mainly because of this wooden inset. Is it an EDC knife? Probably not for the average user. It's a bit too large for everyday carry. 
But it will definitely not become a showcase knife in my collection. I'm sure I'm gonna use it when I'm out and about. It's a strong, dependable knife with a great design. I guess it's one of those knives that will serve you a lifetime, hopefully. These were my first impressions of the Boca Turbine 42. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.